Before you leave, there are a number of things you can do to protect your home. Place your television and lights on a timer so it appears like your home and make sure your mail is placed on hold. We've got a lot more traffic, a lot more cars, and a lot more people here in downtown Montgomery. And if you are here in downtown Montgomery this weekend, you may even spot some celebrities. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So I drove my car up here and I wanna lead by example. So I'm gonna pop this right on up. I went ahead and cleaned out my pantry. For Zach, colors like red and green appear dull, washed out, and look brownish. But with these in chroma glass, Glasses. This is what he sees now. As you can see, there's plenty of signage out here, and we all know that if you do not follow the law, there is a stiff penalty. This is really the calm before the storm. They are expecting a packed house here at Buffalo Wild Wings. I spoke with the general manager, and he says they treat this like Christmas because it's their biggest night, even more than the Super Bowl. Gospel music. Oh, do you know that man from Galilee? Yeah. Farming. Yeah, all this is awful. These are just Everybody two is... of John McQueen's favorite well, things. I'm plan a winter garden. With almost a century full of living under his belt, his secret is simple. I didn't do no drinking. Only thing I did stay on the farm and work hard. Montgomery has always been home. It's where he raised his four children with the love of his life. I was married to her 43 years that God called away from me. In his 99 years on earth, McQueen has had a lot of firsts, but on July 17th, he'll add another one, voting for the very first time. I feel good. McQueen says he really was never into politics. It wasn't until his pastor right, talked with him, right. he decided to register to vote. He kept on that man, so I decided I'd go ahead on. And he hopes by his example, others, especially the youth, will be encouraged to exercise their right to vote. Try to teach them the right thing. I don't want to teach them nothing wrong. But as he waits for election day, Mr. McQueen is living life as usual. I know that man. Rosanna Smith in Montgomery, WSFA 12 News. I know that man. Watching the sunset is 14-year-old Zach Jones' favorite pastime. It shows me the power of God. But it's not always been this way. If you had asked him about this same view a month ago, he would have told you it was... Dull and boring. That's because Zach is one of more than 13 million Americans who is colorblind. His mother, April, says at even a young age, it made simple tasks like picking out an outfit difficult. He would come out ready for school and he would have on like bright orange shorts and a red shirt. And we would argue because he would say they're exactly the same color. And I'm saying, no, son, they're two completely different colors. For Zach, colors like red and green appear dull, washed out, and look brownish. But with these in chroma glasses, this is what he sees now. Don't mess with me, Mama. Zach's grandmother captured the emotional moment on Christmas Day as he opened the gift from his parents. Once the video ended, I kept putting them on and off. I went to my bathroom, looked at my shower curtain that was Christmas colors. That was my goal, was to help him be able to experience what everyone else sees. Viewed more than 80,000 times, the video even caught the attention of the makers of these glasses. With a voucher the company gave the teen, he's decided instead of buying an indoor pair for himself, he will surprise his grandfather, who is also colorblind, with a pair, allowing them both to see the world different. All the orange and the yellow really come out. Rosanna Smith in Elmore County, WSFA 12 News. Kayla Ron says persistent stomach issues that started last year impacted even the most normal day-to-day -day activities. And I couldn't even walk to my car without losing my breath. She was told by medical professionals the solution was simple, lose weight. I had been trying to lose weight for about a year, but I was gaining weight. And to make matters worse, the 30-year-old was even getting asked the question no woman wants to hear from strangers. We went to dinner and someone asked me if I was having twins walking out, so it was frustrating and it was rough. In May, when the pain had gotten overwhelming, Ron's mother took her to the ER at Jackson Hospital. After a series of tests, a large mass was found in her ovary. I do remember telling my mom that they were going to fix it. I knew there was something wrong. You can see in this picture what doctors removed during surgery, a 50-pound cyst. 
the technical diagnosis, it was a mucinous cystadenoma. It was a benign condition. OBGYN Dr. Gregory Jones was in the operating room. He says this is something he's seen before, but the size was surprising. This is one of the largest that I've ever seen or certainly removed. Overall, Jones says Ron's surgery was a success. We're very excited things went well for her. With this burden lifted, this young woman now has a new lease on life. This dress, actually, I haven't been able to wear for a year. So... <laughs> Dr. Jones encourages everyone to be their own advocate for patient care. If something is not right, continue to bring it up with your physician. Remember, you have several physicians taking care of you, ranging from your primary care physician to subspecialists. Sometimes reviewing your concerns consistently is in your best interest. Val. Monday Montgomery resident Eretta Rose had her morning walk at Blunt Cultural Park interrupted by a text notification from her credit card company. All I did was hit something wrong because it was like $405.95 on my card. Immediately she headed back to her car only to find on the ground is the glass that was broken from my floor. Her rear passenger window smashed and her purse yeah, stolen. In less than 30 minutes, the culprit was able to rack up hundreds of dollars in charges at a nearby store. Frustrating that someone would do that. Montgomery police say vehicle break-ins have been a consistent issue. It only takes seconds for a person to spot the valuables in your car and do what they have to to get in and get them. From loose change to sunglasses to cell phones, whatever you leave in your car, they will certainly steal it. In June, 200 reports were filed with MPD for vehicle break-ins. This is up from that time last year when 164 reports were filed. And it's a problem that we're seeing across the country. Law enforcement is stressing the slogan, remove it, lock it, or lose it. If you secure your vehicle, if you remove all valuables, most likely you will not be a victim. And as Eretta Rose tries to feel safe again and waits for the person who targeted her to be caught, she offers this advice. I'll always be vigilant and aware of what's going on. Rosanna Smith in Montgomery, WSFA 12 News.